Hello everyone. Welcome to Chennai Tech Square. In this video, we are going to talk about Ansible, which is a powerful and a popular configuration management tool written in Python. This is the VM in which I am going to install Ansible application. So I named it as anusctl01.testlab.com, which is nothing but Ansible control node. If you guys planning to switch your career to DevOps, then it is recommended to learn Ansible with Python. Though Python scripting knowledge is not a mandate one to work in Ansible, but it would be an added advantage. If you know Python, you can create your own customized module and that can be executed in all remote machines using Ansible. So, other than Ansible, there are many uh, configuration management tools available in the market with its own pros and cons. Ansible is an agentless tool which makes it different than many of the most popular configuration management systems. So basically, there is no agent required on the client machines that we are going to control through Ansible. Next, we are going to see the lab setup that we are going to create for Ansible. If you see, there will be a VM called Ansible Control Node in which the Ansible application will be installed. And the servers that we manage using Ansible called as Manage Nodes. This can be either a Windows, Linux, or an Unix operating systems. Basically, the communication between the control node and the Unix managed nodes will happen through SSH module. So, in order to manage Unix servers using Ansible, we just need the SSH service enabled in all client mission, which is by default enabled. So to manage Windows servers using Ansible, a service called WinRM, which is nothing but Windows remote management service that should be running in all Windows clients. So in our environment, <coughs> other than Linux managed node, we are going to set up AWS, Microsoft Azure, which will be managed through Ansible Cloud modules and the communication between the control node and the cloud environment will be through REST APIs, which is nothing but application profile interface. In my next video, I will talk about the prerequisites and how to install Ansible and the steps involved to integrate Ansible with AWS and Azure to perform all cloud-related tasks using Ansible. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to Chennai Tech Square to watch all videos which are published in our channel and click on the bell symbol to get notifications on the new videos. Thank you.